I'm Ajay Gupta. I'm a pediatric oncologist at Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer Center. We're hoping to learn quite a bit from clinical trials. I think it's important when looking at the type of clinical trial and the phase of clinical trial, where exactly we are in the process of learning about the cancer. So there's four main phases of clinical trials, and the phases are meant to help bring a drug from basic science laboratory all the way to the bedside and the clinic. The first two phases are known as the early phase clinical trials, and phase one is studying the best dose of the drug. The next step is phase two, and in phase two we're looking at whether or not this drug is good for treating cancer. So is it efficacious at treating your type of cancer? And this will be slightly larger, maybe 50 to 100 folks in this type of trial. In phase three, now that we know that the drug can work for your type of cancer, we want to know if it's better than the standard of care. And so now we're looking at many more people. These can be multi-site, national, or international efforts to compare the standard of care to the new drug and can involve thousands of patients. The last phase is phase four, and this is after the drug is already approved by the FDA and is now in post-marketing surveillance, which means we're looking for long-term side effects or any kind of new rare side effects. Other studies may look at the prevention of cancer or the prevention of side effects or potentially catching relapse early or even catching your cancer early. And these are all different types of trials that may not fit in what we just talked about.